We are in the final week of our life at the lodge and after nine weeks, the Hired to Hunt team and gear is definitely tired, tattered and torn. Despite that, there are a fresh set of clients and the hunts must go on with the same intensity, eagerness and vigor the team had on September 1st. Snow geese and mallards cover us up this week as we bring you four action-packed hunts to wrap up the season. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Okay, here they are. I just gotta make sure this is the right field. Pretty sure this is the one. Small pot of snow geese. Maybe 4,000, three or 4,000. So Jay spotted this hunt uh, yesterday. I just have to confirm it's the actual right one now that I see him in there. And then uh, I called, got permission on it. Okay, they're in the right spot. They are in <clears throat> the right spot. So we have a snow goose hunt, everybody. That might be snow goose hunt this afternoon. That's be kind of nice. So that's one in the bag. And I'm just gonna pray they go back to roost at some point today. And they should, there's no water here. They're grazing into the wind, so of course they're probably gonna feed out of the barley stubble, walk or fly across the road into the, uh, into the pea stubble across the road. I'm pretty sure we can get on that one as well. Jay, how are you? how are you? Good, we're gonna pack up soon. We haven't seen nothing for a while. We're Okay. We're over 40 geese and around that 20 ducks. Oh, beautiful. Sure. Beautiful morning. So it's 12 over 60 birds. That's a great morning, Jay. Good job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. can you uh, can you do us a favor? Can yeah. you call Joe? I mean, these geese are about 100 yards off the barley, and I'm worried they're going to end up flipping across the road into those peas. Yeah, um, that's what they were yesterday morning. I said they were right along the road. Well, yeah, and they started way back. And I, I drove by and kicked them back a couple times, you know? Yeah. But uh, I'll do that again here right now, just to keep them in there, right? Because you don't want them starting to flip. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Jay. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Lots of adult birds in there. Of course, of course, Jason's handing off one with no juvies in it. Thanks, Jason. Well, you know, I do have to go check on ducks for tomorrow. Maybe Jason will want to hunt these smart ones. <laughs> It's funny because when we do our hunts, if you have a hundred uh, dead white geese, you might have three or four, five, maybe six, ten at the most that are adults and you have, you know, 90, 95 juveniles. You need a lot of juveniles to do that. So I, if I come out of here with 30 or 40, I'll be happy, you know. I mean, it'll be, it'll be good. There's just a lot, of, a lot of adult birds in there and it makes it tough. We'll see what happens, I guess. If we get the right conditions and these things go back and it turns into a hunt. Be fun to take a kick at them, anyways. There's lots of food over there. Just get back there. Oh, look at them feeding right in this hole. Oh, look at that. These birds, like if I wanted to come back in the last hour, these birds would have been probably across the road already into the peas, which is not a big deal. I mean, Jason working on getting permission on that one. There's a good chance we can get it. But, you know, then you end up with a split gig. Which, which side of the road are they going to be on? And, you know, it's just a lot harder to hide in a flat pea field. So just by me driving by, you can see they're just walking back downwind and um, just a simple drive. I mean, no pressure. They're not even getting up and flying. I mean, they did the one time these ones did because I was too close, but they'll just, they'll just fly back into the flock a couple hundred yards and then they'll slowly graze back this way into the wind. And if I wouldn't have done that though, it just makes it a little bit trickier, that's all. Plus, I get to get a good look at them. It's fun. Oh, 
let's get this just a little heavier right in here. Okay. And then, uh, and then definitely the blinds. We got to do these a little different. We got to get these in the doors. Get them right in there like that. Just breaks the blinds up real, real good. There. I've got a south wind. So that the bird's obviously gonna land from the north into the south, right? So, and they're coming from the south. So I want them, rather than come high, go all the way downwind and start spilling air down at the tail end, I'm gonna actually run upwind about three or 400 yards and start dumping a few, uh, just a few family groups, not many, like 20 or 30 geese way upwind. So as they enter the field, they'll start spilling some air. They'll come, they'll be already low by the time they get to us. And instead of having to work, but I'm hoping they'll just go down, hook 25 yards, and come in off the deck, and that's the plan, in theory. <laughs> They're gonna do it. They're gonna fall in the hole. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, guys. You ready? Kill those, kill those, kill those. Right there, right there. All right, load up, load up, load up, load up. Okay, guys, get ready, get ready, get ready. There's four targets, right, right, ready? Go, 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 watch the target. Right All right, just reload quickly, reload quickly. Low to the right, there's about 12 or 14, right there. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Flock's gonna do it, the flock's gonna do it, straight up. Low, 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 ready? Go, 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 go! That was a little confusing for you. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> you got one. Coming around, coming around, guys. Oh boy, they're all coming now. Man, this would have been something else in the morning. This one, wow. If there's 50 in the hole, I'm gonna call it. But they'll be perfect, they'll be sent, get ready. Just be ready. Just get ready now. Remember, shoot the fire ones, we're gonna fill this hole up. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good. Get ready, get ready. The ones on your toes, 10 yards off the deck. Ready? Right there, guys. No. Yeah, go. Okay, load quick, load quick. Just load, there's lots of confusion now. <laughs> Oh yeah, get ready guys. Hang on, one more, one more time, one more time. One more time. If you get it, something will do it. Okay, we're gonna spin, we're spinning again. Uh oh, he's got higher. Well, we're getting higher now, uh oh. That was our one luck, should have called it. Some are peeling back. If they do it, we go on them, get ready. If they come over, you wanna go? Those are killable, kill those five, all five. Go, go, go. Nice. Well, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty cool, I mean, you know, and anytime these birds feed till one o'clock and they're coming back out to feed four or five hours later, they're not gonna be that hungry. And when the wind went flat, you know, they sit on that roost, they're all bunched up. It was cool because we had a thousand, sometimes 2,000 just spiraling down. And, and you know, at one point we had a thousand of them in, in the decoys, it was pretty cool. Uh, ended up with, I think, 43. It was, it was good, I mean, given the conditions, uh, good hunt, you know, I mean, it could have been one of those 150 bird hunts that we had some wind and, and uh, a little bit of better shooting. But hey, <laughs> it goes that way too, you know. Uh, anyways, good, I'm happy. You know, I'm sure the hunters are happy to beat sitting back, waiting for maybe to hunt it in the morning when it could have been better, but at least they got to shoot and tomorrow they get to hunt again. So it's a wrap, good night. I was giving Mel a hand this morning. Big snow goose hunt, so I'm gonna put out both double racks. This late season is a big one, so a few extra decoys, so I'd give him a hand. Good wind, you should have a good one. Yeah, we had the two snow goose hunts last night, Mel's and Claudio's. 
Claudio had to go in in the afternoon, which is less than perfect conditions. Uh, still came out with 44 birds. So, um, yeah, Mel's got better conditions this morning. He's uh, he's bound to come home with some more birds, but that's how it is as a team. So somebody's got to hunt the afternoons. Claudio pulled the short straw, I guess. Well, we've been watching this hunt now, I guess it's since Friday, and it's now Tuesday. And the geese were in a big roost to the east of us, and they were going on to a, a gentleman's land. That he just doesn't, he's so close to the roost that he just likes watching the birds, so he don't allow hunting, so that's cool. But now we gotta wait for him to leave. Finally, there was a small pod over here in this field already, but finally the, some of the birds, not all of them, if we had all of them, it would be the biggest one in history, but started coming over here to feed. So we ended up with about 10,000 birds from about three to 4,000. Now they've been consistently into this one for the last three feedings. So I think we'll be good. I think it'll be a good shoot. I'm hoping. We're putting out about 1,100 Silo socks. This morning we're making a huge main body out in front, two really long legs, and a uh, big hole out in front. And we're just going to uh, hole in the back. And what we're trying to do is they target the back. So we want a hole for them to focus on, and that'll put them down lower, and they'll finish in the back. So we should have them in real good range. Shoot your wing. Hey, watch these ones off to your left. If you can get these together, they get ready. Go, 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 go! Get right back in, boy. Quick as you can. Kill him, boy! Right back in, guys. Get ready, boys. Coming from the front of us, probably 3,000 of them. See, it's pretty. Okay, get ready, guys. Go, 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 go! Get right back in, boys, right back in. They're hard to see through those layers, eh? They can't hear you when there's that many of them. Let them come around. Ah! Okay, get ready on these ones, boys. Go, 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 go! You're getting four and five. Get right back in, boys. Right back in. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, they're good with that. They're good. Hey. You gonna start cleaning up, or you're just gonna go tomorrow? Yeah, we'll start cleaning up. Oh. Cool. We got it. Right. I'll we... go get that. The duck stuff. Okay. Hey, are you going to hunt 53 or am I hunt 53? I can, if it's okay with you. No, that's great for me because I still got to get over to Myron. So okay. Works. Thanks, bud. Bye-bye. You Bye -bye. bet. Uh, Brad uh, called me and he goes, what should we do? Should we take them back or should we just do this duck hunt? Because we, we've been watching this duck hunt. We shot it two days ago. We shot it yesterday. It's stacked again this morning. It's only three miles from here, so to take these guys home, fool around, we'd be, what, three and a half hours this way, an hour, lunch, done. 
It, it, it's gonna be, it's awesome. It, it, it's a real great way to late season hunt. Just stay out in the field and get it done. But you gotta have the hunts and we have them, so it's, it's good, it's really good. Sixty-two right now. Okay. And six, six specs, six. actually seven specs. She'll be a hundred bird day. This hunt I thought was really, really good. I mean, I don't know how many birds we got. We probably got seventy or maybe a few more. But what happened is we got blobbed real bad this morning in three different blobs. You know, we could sit here a couple more hours, and I'm really positive we get twenty, thirty more birds because. They're still flying over us now, but uh, rather than sit here and you know dawdle time away, we're gonna pack up and get that duck hunt done. <laughs> Brad's on the way back to the camp. He's gonna grab me uh, a couple dozen floaters, a little trailer with peed mines, and uh, we'll meet him at uh, the duck hunt. We're gonna set up. Boys will have a quick coffee and snack. We're gonna go in there and whack the heck out of these ducks, and the boys will be done early today. Kill them if you want them. Kill them. Oh, there's two coming from the back of the side, hey? There's a mallard. Kill it! Kill it! Mallard! Somebody kill that mallard again? Yeah. Get ready, guys. Kill it! Kill him! I think we got some of everything. We got teal, we got widgeon, we got mallards. But we even got a spoonie right at the end of the season. That's unbelievable. But yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. We could have, you know, hung in and waited for mallards, but that isn't the purpose of this kind of hunt. To get in and whack the ducks and get out. Yeah, the guys had lots of fun. I had lots of fun. 110 birds today. Pretty good day, yeah. Oh, just giving these boys a little hand. Get that stuff packed up. We got two trailers out here now. Because I brought uh, Mel an extra spread out for his second hunt of the day. So I'm just helping clean up here and I'm gonna go catch a little bit of spotting before the end of the night. Mel can get these boys back to camp and uh, I think we're set for the morning. Claudio's got a couple duck hunts, so finish strong, hopefully the couple pothole hunts and uh, on to the last group. Okay. Right on, Kate, chat later. I'll get back. All right, well, Dave's on one, I'm on two. Looks like we're good to go. Late in the season, no one hunting anymore either. Like, there's just nobody out bird hunting at all right now, which is kind of nice. No pressure. All right, so just a classic puddle hunt here, you know. Bunch of mallards on a pond. They fed on the side hill today. Should be good, you know, just waiting for them to go back to roost here. This time of year, they go out. <clears throat> They'll stay out all day and you know, you just got to kind of make sure they they sit I mean the Eagles badger them they stir them up they go back down and as long as they don't switch puddles on a day like this Should be a good hunt in the morning, you know all good Well this morning we got uh, Probably anywhere from Three to five thousand mallards that are coming in here, whether we're in here or not. That's the plan. I hope they know it. And uh, as long as the wind stays, this wind's perfect. It's shifting a bit, but ducks are going to come in. I'll put out about uh, I don't know 60 or 70 Cabela's floaters, and then I'll put some silhouettes on the hill behind us, just in case they decide to feed. And I'll put some silhouettes on the beach, had some ball, because there's there's a lot of ducks here. You know, you get those. Those flights coming in, they're looking for a big show. You're sitting out there with 75 decoys, like, ooh, that's not the show, let's go somewhere else. So, get a bunch of decoys, make it look as real as possible. Blinds are dressed, we look good. Should be a good hunt, you know? 
hope should be keyword should be let's do this right here guys right here <laughs> go 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 that's what i like to see pintail kill it kill it kill it nice pintail drink the one straight out get ready <laughs> lots of ducks lots of ducks hang tight let's see what happens here they want that corner Oh man, there's a million coming right now. <laughs> this is bad, we gotta shoot. Get ready, right side, right side. Right here, these, these two ducks, right here, guys. Ready, kill something. Clear the air. This one, nice shot. They didn't go near that corner yesterday. I can move over there to get a better look. See, I wonder if we should move. Yeah. They want that corner, you know, it's just, there's no sense in moving, we got it ready to Oh yeah, right here, guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Four. You know what, they're starting to see the, the robo duck behind. They're drifting over, we'll be all right. Oh, you see right here, guys. Roll him, roll him, roll him, roll him! Nice, nice shooting, guys. This time, guys, right here, right here, right here. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Oh, what about that one? Nice shot. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Well, it wasn't pretty. I mean, we ended up getting them all, and you know, Set up this morning, perfect for that southeast, and this corner would have been nice. And then, funny shaped pond, the wind swung, and it swung some more, and they just, they wanted part of the pond they'd never hit, you know, and, uh, got it done though, you know. The guy shot well, and it wasn't in your face, easy toe hanging shots, it was just passing some in the blocks, and they all died in the blocks, but and then those decoys I had behind me there sure helped, you know, it kept them on track, and the, the later flights that wanted to actually feed, it just kept, kept pulling them right over us, which was good. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>